वेलकम यू ऑल इन दिस क्लास नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व अनदर क्वेश्चन ऑफ कैपिटल बजटिंग द क्वेश्चन व्हाट इज मेंशन इन द गिवन क्वेश्चन ए कंपनी इज कंसीडरिंग एन इन्वेस्टमेंट प्रोजेक्ट इन्वॉल्विंग ए कैपिटल आउटले ऑफ टू लैक्स दैट इज कैपिटल आउटले दैट इज आवर इन्वेस्टमेंट द एक्सपेक्टेड एनुअल इनकम बिफोर टैक्स ड्यूरिंग द लाइफ ऑफ द प्रोजेक्ट आर एज फॉलोज एज आई सेड दिस लाइन इज वेरी मच इंडिकेटिव annual income before tax is mentioned to us if you follow our income statement here annual income before tax here you pay tax then before tax represent what what particular level is provided to us it is provided earning before tax as i said that there are several layer of incomes now the in this is also one layer contribution another layer ebdt one of the layer uh, ebt is also one of the layer pat also one of the layer in fact cfat also but clearly understandable the project has a life of how many years 5 and these are the income level at first year it is 1 lakh second year 1 lakh 20000 third year 1 lakh 80000 fourth year 1 lakh 60000 Fifth year forty thousand. Depreciation is twenty percent per annum. That is the rate of depreciation twenty percent per annum of of original cost. Original cost tends to here none other than two lakhs rupees. What is the original cost of the project? And the tax rate at fifty percent of the net income. Whatever PBT you got or EBT you got earning before tax you got from there fifty percent you have to pay to the government as a tax. Evaluate the project according to ERR method and PBB method. We are going to calculate what is the accounting rate of return of the project and what is the payback period of the project. These two method asks us to calculate. One more thing I must say to get that ARR, we need to we need to need to focus on what we need to focus on PAT because if you remember the formula of ARR, the formula of ARR is average PAT. By average investment into hundred, then we have to focus on PAT at first. PAT we need to go to calculate PAT of each and every year, and once we get the PAT of each and every year, it is become easier for us to calculate average PAT. Once we get that average PAT, we can easily make that ARR. Then first we should focus on ARR, and we are going to calculate ARR of the project. After that, we will come to PBP method. Let's start. now calculation of calculation of arr year 1 2 3 4 5 five consecutive years are available to us next column income what income level you are going to follow here as i said that here it is mentioned expected annual income before tax annual income before tax means what it is earning before tax earning before tax are available to us then you can write here ebt earning before tax that is mentioned in the given question first year it is 1 lakh rupees second year 1 lakh 20000 third year 80000 Fourth year sixty thousand and fifth year forty thousand. These are the income level. Now year and EBT is available to us. We need to process till PAT for ARR. Then from EBT we need to follow PAT. EBT to PAT. Then what we deduct at first? We need to deduct tax column. Now we need to plot here tax column. Okay, even you can. Uh, give that kind of symbol at the top column a column b this is column c now the tax it is available in the question what percentage 50% column b into 50% now 1 lakh into 50% it is 50000 1 lakh 20 into 50% 60000 80 into 50% 40000 Sixty into fifty percent, thirty thousand, forty thousand into fifty percent, twenty thousand. Now tax also we have counted. Now once we get the tax, we need to deduct tax from EBT and we can get PAT column, profit after tax column. Finally, we can manage to reach that PAT column. Just give a title. This is column number D, and D we get is figure of fifty thousand. 
वन लैक ट्वेंटी माइनस सिक्सटी थाउजेंड एक्जैक्टली सेम सिक्सटी थाउजेंड एट्टी माइनस फोर्टी इट इज फोर्टी थाउजेंड सिक्सटी माइनस थर्टी इट इज थर्टी थाउजेंड फोर्टी माइनस ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी थाउजेंड इन केस ऑफ फिफ्टी परसेंट टैक्स रेट द थिंग्स वी कैन वेरी मच इजी एट टू कैलकुलेट यू गॉट ऑलमोस्ट द सिमिलर फिगर इन टैक्स कलम एज वेल ऑज एज वेल एज द पी ए टी कलम नाउ पी ए टी इज कैलकुलेटेड नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू लेट मी क्लैरिफाई हेयर ए आर आर the formula of arr it is average pat divided by average investment average pat by average investment multiplying by 100 average pat by average investment into 100 how to get that average pat once you try to calculate average pat the formula of average pat is total pat total pat divided by lifetime okay now we need to calculate here total fat at first 50 plus 60 1 lakh 10 plus 40 1 lakh 50 plus 30 1 lakh 80 plus 20 it is 2 lakhs you got a total fat of 2 lakhs rupees and lifetime is 5 years then ultimately you got it is rupees 40000 then your average profit after tax how much average profit after tax you got as 40000 now the second part average investment we are going to calculate average investment average investment is initial investment by 2 initial investment by 2 initial investment by 2 then the amount of initial investment for the project is almost same that is also 2 lakhs now right here 2 lakhs divided by 2 you are getting a figure of rupees 1 lakh now average pat and average investment is been calculated now we can to get here out of the project where average pat is rupees 40000 average investment is rupees 1 lakh multiplying by 100 you are getting 40% it's huge rate of return the rate of return is huge that is 40% return depending upon the uh, questions we can calculate the arr as 40% now after calculating that arr the another job is there we have to calculate that is we have to calculate what payback period method pbp after calculating of arr next we need to calculate what pbp as you know for arr we need pat column similarly for pbp we need cfat column cfat column is very much important to calculate pbp of a project now from pat column we need to convert that pat column into cfat column how to get from pat to cfat you know as i said that pat plus depreciations pat plus depreciations we got cfat we have to plot another column that is depreciation column then we can get cfat column okay you can write for better understanding this is column e and now how to calculate the depreciations we must follow a note here depreciation in short par annum it is mentioned in given question depreciation 20% par annum of original cost again the original cost is how much 2 lakhs don't be confused with that depending upon the given question 2 lakhs is the original cost of the project 2 lakhs is also your initial investment of the project now it is rupees 2 lakhs into percentage what percentage is given what is the percentage it is 20% 2 lakhs into 20% you are getting a figure of 40000 rupees now depreciation you count it is 40000 plot depreciation in respect 40000 in respect of each and every year now once you get the depreciation that is 40000 every year you can calculate cfat now calculation of cfat is becoming very much easier to us 
it is pat plus depreciation it is d plus e first here our pat is 50000 and depreciation is 40000 cfat as you know cfat means pat plus depreciation then 40 plus 50 it will be 90000 at second year it is 60 plus 40 it will be 1 lakh at third year it is 40 plus 40 it will be 80,000 and fourth year it is 30 plus 40, 70,000 at fifth year 20 plus 40, 60,000. Now we get the CFAT column but according to the norms of according to the formula of PBP let me write the formula of PBP the formula is standard year plus initial investment minus lower value divided by higher value minus lower value into one year now the question is what is standard year what is initial investment what is lower value what is higher value that you need to understand now look at the basic concept of payback period if you look at the question, the project might give return more than of initial investment of 2 lakhs rupees. But we are going to calculate by what time we can get back, we can reach exactly the 2 lakh rupees. That particular time frame, that particular timing we need to calculate here. That is why we are going to calculate cumulative CFAT column. Now cumulative CFAT, what is the concept of cumulative CFAT? Suppose in a particular column you are getting that kind of figure available. Now how to accumulate that column? At first year it is 4, at the second digit is 4 plus 2, 6. Third year 6 plus 5, 11. 11 plus 6, 17, such a manner. First year 4 remain the same. Second year 4 along with 2, it is 6. 6 along with 5, 11. 11 along with 6, it is 17. Here also by applying the similar fashion, we are going to calculate cumulative CFAT. At first year it is 90,000. Second year 90 plus 1 lakh. 1 lakh 90,000. Third year 1 lakh 90 plus 80,000. 2 lakh 70,000. Fourth year. 270000 plus 70000 it is it will 340000 340000 plus 60000 it will come exactly 4 lakh rupees now if you look at the figure if you sum up the cfat column again you are getting the exact figure of 4 lakh rupees what does it means the project provide us a total return of 4 lakh rupees whereas our initial investment is 2 lakh rupees well and good we are getting almost double return but the question is that 4 lakh is not our basic motto. Our motto is by what time we are going to reach that exact 2 lakh rupees which we invest, which we consider to invest at the initial point. Now you look at that. At first year, our return is 9 lakh, 90,000. At second year, it is 90,000 along with 1 lakh rupees. Our total return comes to 1 lakh 90,000. At third year, 1 lakh 90,000 along with 80,000, it comes to 2 lakh 70,000. Now the question is, at third year it is 2 lakh 70, at second year it is 1 lakh 90. Don't forget, our target is 2 lakh rupees. Then that particular project earned 2 lakh rupees in between in second and third year because at the end of second year it is 1 lakh 90, at the end of third year it is 2 lakh 70. And we basically search for 2 lakh rupees. Now the question is that 2 lakh rupees lies in between 1 lakh 90 and 2 lakh 70 according to cumulative CFAT column, and similarly, second and third according to year column and second is considered as your standard year okay now how to consider that lower and higher value where you plot that 2 lakh rupees the above one 1 lakh 90 is obviously your lower figure and the below 2 lakh 70 that you consider obviously as your higher figure now higher value and lower value how to consider that 2 lakh rupees is our target at the end of second year it is 1 lakh 90 at the end of third year it is 2 lakh 70 it means that 2 lakhs achieve in between second year and few months and few days in between second and third that is why i plot here 2 lakhs 
above the 2 lakhs it is lower and below the 2 lakhs 2 lakhs 70 of course it is considered as higher value now higher value lower value is been settled standard year is been settled initial investment is available in the given question that is 2 lakhs rupees now i am going to plot each and every figure here it is 2 plus initial investment is 2 lakhs lower value is 1 lakh 90 thousand whole divided by higher value is 2 lakh 70 thousand again its lower value is 1 lakh 90 thousand it is 2 plus you can write here into 1 now it is 2 plus 2 lakh minus 1 lakh 90 thousand 10 thousand divided by 2 lakh 70 minus 1 lakh 90 80 thousand it is basically 2 plus 0 0.8 then it is 2.08 years then our payback period is come 2.08 years what is the concept we calculate already ARR earlier after getting that ARR we are going to calculate PVP when we are going to calculate ARR we calculate till PAT column now for P PVP we need CFAT column how to get that CFAT column along with the PAT we simply sum up the depreciation the information of depreciation is available in the given question that is 25% 20% per annum of original cost original cost was 2 lakhs 20% of 2 lakhs 40,000 I plot here once I plot here depreciation then sum up PAT and depreciation it will automatically give, give us the results of what CFAT once we get that CFAT, we converted that CFAT into cumulative CFAT and apply that particular formula, automatically we can get that payback period. Thank you.